In this video, we'll learn about the key basic concepts that drive the IAM system. IAM itself is a centralized way to efficiently control access to your AWS resources. IAM policies precisely define relationships between principles and resources. A principle, by the way, in AWS terms is a user, a group, or an AWS service like an EC2 instance. By resource, in this context, we mean an S3 bucket and its contents, or an EC2 instance and the data and services it provides. By policy, therefore, we mean control over exactly who can read, write, create, or delete an object or service. We associate, either directly or indirectly, IAM policies with users, groups, and roles. Using IAM, you can define the way users access AWS through passwords, access keys, MFA, or identity providers. When users are associated with groups, any policies attached to the group, by definition, are now binding on all the users who are part of that group. A role is not associated with a user or a group, but with a service like an EC2 instance. So the instance, in our example, will be assigned specific privileges and limitations so that any service running on the instance, let's say a web server that's running on an EC2 instance, will be limited or opened up by the content of the role associated with this instance. The bottom line is IAM policies are meant to control the behavior of each principle. Let's take a quick look. Clicking on a specific role will provide you access to the role policies, which you can edit if you like. You can add new role policies. It'll also display the ARN, Amazon Resource Name, that is unique to this particular role. Therefore, if you want to associate a particular role with an Amazon service, you might be required to enter this specific and unique ARN. Just one important note. IAM policies are not synonymous with S3 bucket policies. Even though both are often written in JSON formatted text and they look the same, they actually have a very different orientation. An IAM policy controls the behavior of each principle, where it can go, what it can access, what its limitations are. An S3 bucket policy, on the other hand, controls what can happen to a bucket. So even though S3 policies and formerly ACLs would appear to have overlapping goals with IAM, they actually work in a way in opposite directions. Just be aware of that distinction.